Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to be watching the most messed up episodes of American Dad. And we're joined by special guest Yorba Tevin. Uh, this isn't my studio. What the hell? We kidnapped him. He's here against his will. Who are you? And if you guys want us to watch more American Dad, then get this video to 10,000 likes. And if you want to watch the uncut version of this video, head over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash spilling the milk, and subscribe. Good morning, USA. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys remember the memes of the speed running the American Dad intro? That was like peak comedy. <laughs> yes, I do remember that. I like the one where he just hops into bed and just sleeps, <laughs> sleeps for like 30 seconds. That, that was awesome. That's a good one. <laughs> what the fuck what is, the fuck is this opening? Oh my god, Francine. Francine was my first waifu. Can I say that? Does that count? That counts. Did she just wreck her own husband's car with her car and total their two cars? <laughs> <laughs> They've got really good insurance. I don't know what you call them here. Hitler melons. What? Wait, is there fish a Nazi? Yeah, he's German. Yeah, he's like a skier, but he's also a Nazi. He's a Nazi? I didn't know that. <laughs> I watched a lot of the show and I did not recollect that fact. That's his most important character trait, dude. I thought it was horny for Francine. Well, I don't know. I feel like most people are horny for Francine, like even Nazis. Oh, uh, okay, true. She is she is blonde haired. She's got very Aryan features. <laughs> yeah, she's got good Aryan vibes. These are main streets we live on. Streets soaked with blood. Did you know that MatPat said they say the hard R in this show? What? There's a podcast of MatPat saying they, they say the hard R in this show all the time, but then he was actually referring to a different word that started with the R because he's so innocent, he doesn't know what the hard R That's is. Not, what? You're talking about Linus Tech Tips. No, the, the one for, like, mental disability. They're the same person. They're the same person. <laughs> They are the same person. If you're a white content creator for 10 plus years on YouTube, you're just, you just assimilate into the one guy. <laughs> it's a hive mind. My son doesn't take up much space. And neither does my good friend Ben Franklin. How much is a, that's like five dollars, right, or something? Benjamin Franklin's a hundred. Oh, a Benjamin. You see, I'm a gangster. Normally we call them Benjamins, not Franklins. So I happen to be a gangster. Then you just showed me a high Q shorts <laughs> earlier. I don't think gangsters rolling in. Never mind. He just sang so well, I had to stop my joke. How could you send Steve off to some camp you know nothing about? Look, it's a legitimate place. It's called Camp Refugi. <laughs> this is peak, man. <laughs> Unironically, this is this is how I learned what a refugee is. What's your name? I am Wobuto Kowonga Komali. I'll call you Hot Rod. Is this a racist episode? I sure hope yeah. so. Not right that you picked the half black guy and then you brought the Camp Refugee episode. Dude, we have two, we have two half black guys. If we put them together, like <laughs> you could use get one black person. Is that how it works? Stupid camp. No, no, camp is good. If only I can make you see. He has Adam Driver body. Like, why is your chest so wide? Who <laughs> Stan? Yeah, look at him compared to everyone else, and look at Steve's legs. What the fuck are they? Yo, he's kind of everything's weird. The camp Abs are kind of built though. Bro jumps 30 meters. How can you all gorge yourselves on roast beef while refugees starve? I, for one, am going to spend my short Oh, is she like a hippie political activist? Yes. She's wearing yeah. a fucking peace sign. Well, this show's like post like 9-11 America. It's like super political. Stan is that conservative dad. She's a liberal daughter. She's actually like a one of those liberals, though. That's like, she sucks. <laughs> you'll see You'll see in this episode where she's like hip, very hypocritical about it. You, you, you know the one. Yeah, like yeah, performative. Yeah. yeah, she's like the the communist to buy the $3 million houses, you know? I don't know who we're just like. <laughs> I, don't know I don't know who I'm referring to. I played sports. I wrote cheers. Now that you fucking mentioned the legs, bro, I can't. <laughs> I, I can't stop looking at their fucking legs. Like Stan has like the legs of like a like a like a goddamn god. He's got them tree trunks, yeah, man. Wait, is he gonna have like a ref a romance with one of the refugee yeah. girls? They're playing Africa. They're playing <laughs> fucking Africa, are you <laughs> kidding me? It's the only song that comes from Africa, Core. You don't understand that? Uh, that kind of made me think of that video of like the guy standing out in a lake singing Africa. Mama Mia, here I go again. Shout out to the guy in the lake. It was like a viral video. <laughs> Shout out to the guy in the lake. I still remember my first camp love, Tommy Bennett. No, no, Amy Bennett. Why would I say Tommy? 
Closeted yeah, gay Republican question mark. Okay. Nah, uh, I hate to do this again, but look how small his ears are. <laughs> Why you gotta point out all the, the insecurities? Dude, it's weird. It's weird. Like his man. chin is fucked enough, but then in contrast with his fucking little little ears. I like to imagine you just like can't hear anything. Like there's no way any sound is getting in there. Rick's a pediatrician and I teach first grade. Oh, that's gotta be good for business. She trips him on the playground, then sends him your way for bandaging. <laughs> <laughs> what a fuck joke. Why does any one person go? Hey, why is your fucking skin gray? You little weird guy. It's a skin condition. That'd be rude, man. No, I've never seen gray skin. That's racism, bro. That's racism, bro. Any? That's not funny. I'm not gonna laugh at that. I refuse. <laughs> Yikes. Open your mouth. Leave with the tongue. Oh my god. <laughs> so weird. Dad, they just kidnapped Makeva. All right, I understand kidnapped, but what is Makeva? Oh, I bet that little girl they stole could have told me. Downvote. Ooh, that was not very funny. <laughs> you could feel the silence after that one. This does not hold up, bro. Didn't you say this was like your favorite episode as a kid, Jack? This was my favorite episode as a kid, dude. <laughs> oh no! No! You open up a 2000s media and there's like a 17% chance they're gonna play that song. Hey boss, big butts. Come on, Professor. Tell the kids about all the economics conventions you attend. <laughs> I'm excited for a 20 minute presentation on economics. Tell them how you killed our baby, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> this is like I, I'm just watching like a really dramatic improv session. Yeah, the improv bit is that oh you're a divorcing couple. I want to run, Dad. It's my girl, my race. Oh my goodness, because he has the heart of Africa, he can run fast. <laughs> you gotta just play Tona's Africa again as he wins. Does this count as a white savior plot? <laughs> the white savior episode. <laughs> I, I won the race for you. I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of a crazy chick. Mm. I think that's the offensive part. What? You guys want any? Want to make any jokes? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Like a like a black joke or like a incest <laughs> joke. Or like a... But the part I didn't tell you was, she didn't love me back. She broke my heart. Isn't there a canonical episode where like Steve almost fucked his dad in like, what? A, ro in, like a robot body? He almost. F his dad, really? In a robot body, yeah. Why do you keep specifying in a robot? Does that make it okay or something? Are you saying it's yes, chill? Yes, because Stan's in the body of a 16-year-old girl. Oh, that's fine then. That's fine. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> I think that's chill. Would you not bust it open for your son in a... <laughs> in a hottie's body, bro? I couldn't, I couldn't finish the sentence, so... Wait, so did they just show up to this refugee camp and like make everybody's lives worse? Well, Haley's life is worse because she gained like 20 pounds. Either that or she's pregnant. I'm not sure yet. That is a quick pregnancy, dude. They were there for six weeks, man. Africa works quick, bro. Holy shit. Every minute in Africa, like 60 seconds passed. That's what they say. Holy shit. Yeah, we'll never forget these guys. Hot Rod, Skittles. <laughs> They're leaving on a private plane. That's so funny. If you name me Skittles, I will kill you. That's so fucked. Like, one of them is named Little Oprah. Like, like how on the nose Little you gotta get with your fucking racism. That episode fucking sucked. Yeah, that one does not hold up. What did we learn, though? Going to refugee camps for fun is good. Is it? Okay. Little fun fact for you, the highest STD rates are in nursing homes. Yeah, dude, like, I'm excited. Can't wait. <laughs> I'm, Can't excited. Wait. I'm fucking, those old motherfuckers are kinky as hell. Hello, Hercules. Opa, Francine, what you want? <laughs> Motherfucker says Opa. The most Italian. He's Greek. Dude, he's doing the fucking pizza pie shit, though. His name's Hercules. <laughs> Maybe he's an Italian name. There was like four Greek <laughs> flags on the outside of the establishment. Maybe he's the Jack. first Italian Greek man, okay? It said Euro on the back. No. Mama's new boyfriend just left her. Can you imagine? Yes, because it happens like three times a year. Three being the average. Steve taught me averages with cupcakes. What? <laughs> she's not bright. She's a little stupid. Oh, so she's a dumb blonde character? Yeah, yeah, yeah she's, she's a dumb really blonde. Dumb. I do not remember that. I don't fuck with those kind of stereotypes. That's inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, blonde people are a very marginalized race. I just feel like maybe we should stop these types of jokes. 
Maybe I'm just unlovable. She's got the bowling <laughs> shirt on, dude. I'm she's, going for a strike. She's, ready, for to, a strike. she's ready for a strike. <laughs> I'm going for a 7-10 <laughs> <ten laughs> split. I'm not going to no. lie. Whoa! My celebrity crush is Meryl Streep, so I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Damn, fucking rushing to those nursing homes, bro. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I ain't got to be in them to get the STDs. Just go for a visit. Go. <laughs> yeah, you just got to go for a conjugal Damn. visit. You'll always be my number one man. And you're my number one gal. Oh my god. What about me? Oh my god, so this is the Oedipus complex in this episode. Yeah, he just really loves his mom. Oh no. Yes! I'm so lonely! I haven't felt the touch of another human being. I hate this fish's voice, I'm not gonna lie. Do you hate German people, Cord? Just, like, say, it. just say it, just say it, bro. Just, just talk to the German audience and tell them you hate them. She uses her personal drama as an excuse to come here, take over Stan's life, and elbow me out. Does Roger have genitalia? Like, I don't even remember. Like, no, he doesn't. We got the American dad expert on board. We hired Tevin to be the, the American dad fact checker. <laughs> What do you do when your mom's unhappy? Jerry left her feeling crappy. This is much. This is much. I don't know. I don't know what to say to this. He's gonna fuck his mom. He's been. He's been <laughs> fucking his mom, dude. He's been. Wash, wash, wash your tushy. Scrub, scrub, scrub your tushy. Why is she look so like happy about this? I think she's just happy for someone to share her like equal level of disgust. She basically just scarred Roger so she could have someone to relate to in this situation. I am Hercules. I'm Betty. Oh my goodness. Are you jealous right now, Tevin? Yeah. Like, what's going on in your mind? I want what he has. To be fair, he has a lot of meat. Like, you can't compete with a man that has that much meat, can you? No, I'm not the meat man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, they're kissing! I know, I know, I know! <laughs> <laughs> the hands are too much. He has three fingers on one hand and four on the other. I'm just, I'm fucking losing it. There's a hidden finger. It's the angle. Yeah, I got a hidden finger too, buddy, but it's not on my hand. Huh? Did you just call your p a finger? That's like, I, I never heard that before. That's just, that's just kind of, I don't know, man. You know Betty's boyfriends? The ones who keep leaving her? Missing? Who's missing in the back? Missing. Missing. Oh my god, all of her ex-boyfriends? Did she kill them or did they run away? Is she a cannibal? That would be why she knows so much about meat. My mother is a killer? Stan, I know this is hard to hear, but we have proof. I feel like they all just ran away from her because she's crazy. They jumped straight to murder. Roger? I don't know what she's talking about, Stan. He folds immediately every time. <laughs> well, Stan is built like a Her Herculean god, dude. If he yells at you, I'm, I'm submitting. I'm sorry, Francine. He's a big, scary man. <laughs> See? Ooh. Oh, it's Stan. Stan is killing them. No way. Stan is killing them. Yeah. That actually makes sense. It's over, Betty. Yep. <laughs> Did he kill them all? Francine, I can explain. She's my mommy! You need a oh divorce. Oh my Francine, god. Francine, you need a divorce. I was all she had, and I did everything I could to keep her happy. Ooh. Dude, this is so he weird. What's the fuck his mom? No. When they took her out, I took them out. What the fuck? And then you said there was the episode where he fucked his son like yeah american dad is i guess it is american dad alabama dad has the eight o'clock to athens left yet they're boarding now oh! holy fucking <laughs> 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 this is so unhinged look how happy she is there was a time when you two needed each other, but she's moved on. You're way too reasonable with your husband right now. Bro, man just got dumped by his mom. He has, he has to move on from his mom, right, dude. Don't touch my mommy! <gasps> what do you think you Imagine your crazy ex is your son. But what about me? Honey. What about you have a hot wife? You have a great family. <laughs> uh, like, oh, shut the fuck up. Oh my god, oh my god, he's just the leaving them on the island. Oh my god, I was not expecting that plot twist. <laughs> I've gone crazy. That's the end. Okay. I, oh, all right. Shit. You know there's mad gay s*** going down on that island, though. They got it, dude. Like, how else? Oh my god, it's widescreen now. Dude, he's so wide. He's so wide. The graphics are so much better. We're in the 21st century now, man. I supposed to be Japanese subway molester Shinju Omegawa. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Roger got a booty, bro. I don't care what anyone says. He's got a booty at the end of the day. <laughs> he's built like a pregnant woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're looking for, man. Wait, what's this? It's a costume. 
and it's lovely. I love this episode so much. <laughs> oh no! He looks so fucking good. Damn, I look good in this. Tilda Swinton, good. Look at it. Dude. Why is he walking like that? <laughs> Everyone beats the shit out of him. Run! It's Ricky Spanish, dude. You got some nerve showing your face around here, Ricky Spanish. It's Ricky Spanish! Get him! He's the most hated man. How did he wrong this many people and completely forget about it? What made you decide to come find us? Your letters. We wish we could give you a roof over your head. Yours always, Stan and Francine Smith. Why would you write that? I didn't think he'd live past 10. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the best couple in America. They're perfectly dysfunctional for each other. You know what I mean? They're like the opposite of a power couple. They're like a struggle couple. Kill Ricky. We're like four minutes into this episode, right? Like how did this episode get so unhinged so quickly? This is like that video game stealth mission where like you fucked up and like the whole city's after you. Yeah, you've got like four stars in GTA. This is like a crazier riot than like January 6th. What's the Canada January 6th? The convoy, bro, all the trucks. Yeah, probably all the trucks, yeah. The truckers, brother. Keep your voice down. These people will kill me if they find out I'm Ricky Spence. So every time he brings up Ricky Spanish, you'll see Ricky his misdeeds Spanish. from the past. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh, oh my shitting it. god! He was such a terrible person. He blocked out all the terrible misdeeds he did. Like Ricky Spanish is an entirely different person. Who, like takes control of him when he puts the outfit on. Timothy's bangs, jean, jackets. Timothy what? bangs. Gay. It's a gay joke. It's like so, gay people. Oh, because like gay people. Because yeah, gay okay. people are in jail. Because gay pe gay sex happens in jail. That's fucking crazy, man. Holy Shout shit. out to gay sex. Keeping men sane in prison for hundreds of years. Gay sex is important. Gay sex is important. It was her birthday. And you know how I am when I drink champagne. <laughs> that was dude, a brutal dude. execution. <laughs> you know how I am when I drink champagne. Sure, we can just leave him here? He'll be fine. He's sitting there so cutely. But they're probably just gonna abandon him at Costco. That's exactly, yep. <laughs> okay, well, fuck. I mean, I could think of worse places to be abandoned. At Costco's a solid place. Like, he can live off the free samples for probably like a month. The dollar fifty hot dog and soda combos, he's gonna be around forever. Oh, Edith. Welcome home, dear. You, you've been married for 35 years? <laughs> He's been pleasuring that man for 35 years. I'm Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. That one's was so, so much less bad than everything else. I like how half of them are just inconsequential, like bullshit he does. Just generally being a dick. He like kills someone or he steals a child's lollipop. Like it's no in between. All sins are equal in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this literally came out of nowhere. I, I felt the tension. I felt. Never the mind. There was gay foreshadowing earlier, and we pointed it out. That was foreshadowing. Well, he's he's got the butt chin, so he's kind of asking for it. <sighs> What's wrong? I don't know. It's just we abandoned that poor child in Costco. I thought he was annoying, but now I miss him. He was the only good thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> 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 well, that's so sincere. You used me. Sorry, pal. But the whole time you thought you were redeeming me, you were helping me put this together. Daniel. I'm sorry, where are my manners? Good night. <laughs> Good night, Steve. I like this joke. Hit him in the head with a shotgun. Daniel's so submissive. Wait, was this prison cellmate actually the top the whole time, that fruity little individual? Yeah, I guess. Tunji, baby! Mr. and Lady! Mr. and Lady. Tunji! What in the end of Ava is going on right now? Congratulations. Congratulations. What is happening right now? I feel like I'm going insane. <laughs> yeah, this is some end of Ava shit, man. The most generous, wonderful people I have ever... Oh, they're tired of... Oh, my God. They're... Should we? I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's so evil. I miss him. Me too. What is wrong? <laughs> Stop with abusing people. this poor Nigerian boy! <laughs> but they gave him a free card. That is a solid SUV. He can sell that. I think the lesson here is just never be grateful. Always take. I believe in you. Oh God! I knew you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Christ! Dude took every L in the book. 
killed by the very soul he tried to save. Ricky Spanish. Shout out Ricky Spanish. Shout out Ricky German. Shout out Ricky English. <laughs> Ricky German. You know, I think we all learned some things today. What did we learn? Model our lives after Ricky Spanish. If you guys want us to watch more American Dad and get this video to 10,000 likes and click the link on the screen now to go subscribe to your bud Tevin. Do what he said. And huge thank you to our patrons. Thank you, Steven Cheese, Val Explicit, Trinity Martin, Nikki H225, Gub Stargazer, Chrysalin, Puffles, The Awesome Possum, Native 5, Frozen Spaghetti, Daryl Herb, Kieran Sill, Isaiah Alford, Sheriff Nico, Alejandro Perez. Paredes, Quiet Choir, Super Fun Time Bros, Samuel Sanchez 8, Gummy Brain Rot, Rod Rodder, Cosmic Dega, Brendan Madigan, Noah Holiday, Communism is When No iPhone, Gabriel Granados, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Atomic Leon, and Whitaver.